hope I didn't fool you. I'm not really a lion. I'm just a young lady with lion inspired makeup for Halloween. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So I start off with some primer, you know, that helps the makeup look as realistic as possible, which is how I was able to fool you into believing I was a real lion. Now I'm drawing on my eyebrows because I have none and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate. Now it's time for concealer. Now I'm going to use concealer that is a few shades lighter than me and I'm going to use that to highlight my eyebrows and I'm also using the same concealer under my eyes in the middle of my forehead down my nose a bit and this is going to really help give me that lion look and I blend it all out with a beauty blender. Then I set it with some e.l.f. HD powder in yellow. And then I simply brush it all off. I don't let it bake for long at all. Now I'm using a brown eyeshadow to draw my nose back on since it, you know, became invisible with all that light ass makeup. And I'm going to just blend it in. And I also use it in my for my contour just a little bit and now I'm using that same shadow in my crease making sure I connect it to the lines I drew on the sides of my nose And now I'm using my foundation. This is Fashion Fair and Tender. That's my color. And I'm just going to blend that out in the areas where I didn't conceal. And now I am using some black gel liner. I believe it's by L'Oreal. And I am giving myself a dramatic winged eye. I also line my bottom lash line. And I attempt to draw a quick curve, you know, similar to a real lion. Lions don't need makeup to achieve a dramatic eye. They have it naturally. Lucky kitty cats. And now I'm drawing on my little nosy. I'm freehanding, just freestyling as I go along. I don't know exactly how I wanted to look at this point, but I pull it together. And I fill it all in, almost, almost all in, leaving a space. And in that space, I use some lipstick, some orange lipstick, to give myself that cat nose. And I use my finger to blend it out a bit, just a bit. And now back to my eyes, I use some orange shadow from my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. I believe this is the second edition. I use that on my lid. And then I use a bit of that on my little button nose. Sorry, I have a cold right now um and i think i sound too cute right now like i need to put a little bit of 
aggression in my voice. I'm trying to be a lion here. Okay. All right. So forgive me. Let's try again. So now, since I don't have black lipstick, I use this plum shade and I cover my entire mouth with it. And then with the same orange shadow I used on my lid, I put it in the center of my lips, giving this ombre effect. And I'm using that same orange shadow again as blush. Not only blush, but it's going to give me the orange color all around my whole face. So I look like a real live lion. All right, it's not working out. <laughs> so I choose this shadow. It's an orange shimmery shadow. And I'm using that underneath my eyes a bit, down the center of my nose and in the middle of my forehead in between my eyebrows. And I'm going to blend that out a bit. And then I use my favorite highlighter from the Missy Lynn palette. And I use that to highlight my face. I put it on my cheekbones in the middle of my eyebrows and forehead and down my nose. And that's it. That's how I achieve my lion look for Halloween. I think I'm going to go to work with this look. Hope I don't get sent home. I hope they don't call animal patrol on me. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.